And today on the North American Journeyman, we play in the CONCACAF Champions Cup against Tijuana. The first game is at home, and we're not the favorites. Here it is. The game is here. Liga versus Tijuana. Home in the first leg. I'll take you through the results. There's been a couple things that have gone on as well. Let's see. We left off playing Sprisa Norediano. Yeah, we've won every game. You'll notice a distinct lack of clean sheets. We just can't seem to keep one. And part of that is down to the goalkeeper. Part of that is down to the fact that the young goalkeeper got injured, and so we have to play the backup goalkeeper. So we have a bit of a surprising goalkeeper battle. He's gotten a little bit better as, as time has gone on. Miguel Ahu. He is an international. He does get called. Well, he gets called up, but he never really gets caps. Uh, he's got holes in his game, for sure. But he's been doing a little better. He's been making a couple saves. He's consistent, and he likes big matches and stuff. And now he's finally fully fit after playing about five games in a row. We could give him a new contract maybe if we wanted to. We'll hang on on that one. He'll probably stick around and be our backup. But Solis went down injured with the twisted knee, twisted sister, I think it was. And what medical history? Oh, twisted ankle. That kind of twisted sister. So apparently he's capable to play in this game today. So it said in an email I got, but I think we're going to stick with Ahu. Probably because he's got that big matches tick on his pro side. And the other thing is that we sold a player to LAFC. It was a player I was looking at getting rid of anyways. Carlos Andre Mora. He's pretty decent, but he plays on the right wing, and I'm kind of overloaded there. Well, I have two players ahead of him, basically, there. I mean, he is 27. Ant crawling up my arm. Um, but we've been training him as the center midfield position. He's played good there when he's gone in, but he's mad at me. And then we signed that other guy from Saprissa, so he's not really getting game time. They came in with an offer about 300000 or something like that. And we were able to talk him up to 500k with an extra 100 once he plays one game. And the day after he shipped off to LA, because their transfer window is still open, he got a substitute appearance. So we got the 600k like right away. So that's good. Helps the balance a little bit. Because we're a little bit down this year. I've been splashing the cash a little bit. But hey, they gave me the budget. So it's up to you to raise the money. They're bored. But we can take a look at this. Champions Cup because none of the non-Mexican, non-Liga MX, non-MLS teams did good at all. I mean, Olympia did okay against Sporting Kansas City. They go out. Arediano loses to Toluca. They go out. Montagua from Honduras. They go out. That's uh, MLS Liga MX affair. Harborview gets smashed by LA Galaxy. Who we got? Cavalry FC from the Canadian Premier League. They go out 4-2. Municipal Grecia kind of held their own, but goes out to Santos Laguna. Saprissa goes out to New York City FC. Mount Pleasant goes out. York United actually played Tijuana pretty close. I think Tijuana scored like an 85th minute goal to go through this tie. And then America goes through Halifax Wanderers. So these two Canadian Premier League teams are out as well. TLA Rangers play in America. And that winner will get the winner between us and TJ. So I'm stoked. We've been playing this system with David still learning the defensive midfield position. He is figuring it out tactically. He plays great. Like his ratings have been just getting better and better. But then if we want to swap him over to the left and go more attacking, then we can play with the number 10. But Toch is the Mazala. He's more on attacking role now with Suarez also retraining in this role. B 
because Kevin Gonzalez has been injured for a little bit. So he's coming back, but he was bossing it in the number 10 role. And once he went down, I decided to make the tactical switch. And it's a little bit more of a defensive role. We want to try and close up shop a little bit if we can grab a lead. So that's the idea today. It's the home leg, though. But still, I think we do get a lot of possession with this formation and are still scoring goals for fun. So looks like they're playing a 4-4-2. Like I said, they are favorites, slight favorites, even though we're at home. Make sure I got all the boys I want in. Yeah, Contreras and Montenegro, surprisingly, are the, they're playing way better than the other two. Torres, he's a little bit tired. He's had a couple knocks, but played really good in the last game. And then Mario's been coming back into it, so we'll probably make that switch at some point. But Contreras has been just smashing free kicks in and getting assists and going crazy. So this is what we're here for. Got the kit on. If it doesn't go well, I might have to change out of it. Take the fanboy out and put the disciplinarian back in. Get the suit on. <sighs> we're in the whites. Make the advantage count. We're at home. Everybody likes it, except for Ahu. That's not a good sign. We're wearing the whites at home. That seems kind of unfair, but just a kid issue. It's like they got some youngsters in. Flores, 20-year-old, looks whatever. Palacios, okay, that's a good left back. Holy, 19-year-old Mexican left back, worth 10 million. Kalai, okay, they're, they're better than we are. They have, a, they have a very good goalkeeper. Hernandez is okay. Carrillo. All right, we got our work cut out for us. Let's see what we can do. Packed stands in Alajuela against TJ. There shouldn't be away goals in this competition. I am fairly certain of that. This is attacking free kick. Should be Contreras. It is. He's been spanking these in from this distance. And that one's close, but just over the crossbar. Early encouragement. I mean, we're doing well. Let's see how this highlight goes. There we go. Thorn. He's been doing good on the right. I think he almost knows the position. David with a marauding run here. Probably needed to whip that one in, but we got the chance here. Neves. Montenegro. Uh, he's got an eye for goal right now, so hopefully he can make it count. But that's good. We're looking good. Keep it up, boys. Here we go. The encouragement might have come in a little bit late there. Which is actually kind of annoying, especially if we score here. But I won't be mad, because I'll take a goal. But it looks like they're on the break. We're a little out of position. We're a little stretched. Good from Hall, though. Here we go. We don't really counter... We counter press, but we like to maintain that possession, work it in. We got some good creative players in the team, so oh, but that's not a good place to lose the ball. But Montenegro wins it right back, and he's down the left wing. What can he do with that? Pulls it back. Neves takes the shot a little too high, just a little bit rising. And it's all us early. Alvarez on a... Oh, Toch with the interception. I was looking down at the players. Neves. Toch. Play it to the right. Oh, he missed the pass. Good cross, though. Contreras. It's an open net. And somehow, Kalai gets back and makes the save. Desperate attempt. And he makes it work. We should be up one nothing here. At least... This game's all us. We gotta, we gotta, if we come away with this, playing like this early with the draw, it's not gonna be good. Play him in or take the shot. I don't mind it from Salazar. He's in good form. We go positive. I don't wanna let them score though. 
30 minutes, you might go positive. Who's injured? Somebody's out injured. Is it our player? Looked like he was wearing white. Or maybe that was the physio guy. Yeah, it's their guy. Good. They're down to 10 men. Salazar heads it by. Is he on side? I don't know. We I think we got VAR in the CONCACAF Champions Cup. It was close. He might be off. I don't like to do the little check thing. Goal awarded. There we go. one nothing. Yeah, I don't know how many people do that. Really. You click and you look to see if it's based on stats, whether or not the goal counts. Yeah, Kalai should have got a fingertip to that one. But the header goal from Salazar. I didn't see how many goals he's got, but he's approaching 50 for the season. Can we get a second here on T1? We're looking pretty good. David plays it back out. He likes to do that. Contreras. Montenegro. Salazar's on his own. Nope. There. Oh, he finds the space anyways. Two goals. Marlon Salazar. 2 nothing. Alahuelense. You'll love to see it. We are owning them this half. But we still got to go to Mexico, and that's always dangerous. Oof, that's just great movement. Montenegro is on such good form right now. So is Contreras. Contreras, good. Holds it in. I mean, that's a kind of a dangerous ball, but we make it look easy at this point. I mean... They're not even pressing us. We're just doing whatever we want. We'll stay positive. Hall, he wasn't playing good. I changed him wing back to Fend, and he seems to like that a little bit more. Salazar for the hat trick. Slips in Toch, though, and that's 3-0 in the first half. He's on. That's There's no way he was off. That was a perfectly timed run. Yeah, I don't know. Some people don't like the suspense. I like the suspense. I mean, I knew that one was on because just because with my eyeballs, I saw that one. But I mean, look at this from Salazar with his right leg. Yeah, he made the pass and touch wasn't even close to offside. I mean, I get it. Oh, Carrillo's over the top here. That should be us, though. I get it. I mean, you like suspense, but you play football manager, so you can experience more suspense more rapidly, I guess, or whatever. Salazar in on goal. He's using his right foot a lot today, the left-footed striker. He's got an okay right foot, but... Had her up. Down to David. Is that one? That one, I think, was on, too. CONCACAF Champions Cup winners, first season, goal awarded. Look at this header down to David, and David, I think we played a game, I think it was the last game, we won 6-1 to one against Punta Arenas in our league, and David, from the defensive midfield position, hit the post, I think, <coughs> excuse me, I think four times. Montenegro through again. Can we make it a fifth? David, he loves it. Oh, that's not great. Oh, but they're they're just shocking. They're playing like garbage. They can't handle the pressure. And it's 5 nothing. Let's get another check. Let's get all the VAR checks. It's 5 nothing in the first half. Awarded again. I mean, sometimes that's that's what it happened. That's just how it goes. You just you're cruising. Everybody's playing well together. They're all up for the big occasion. The goalkeeper hasn't even been in. Are we gonna get a sixth? Yo.
Alvarez takes it off him. I might just take him off just because we don't want to risk anything here. We're up 5 nothing. Like, Salazar. Mobile, baby. Smooth as oil. We're operating like a well-oiled machine. Six nothing in the first half of the CONCACAF Champions Cup. See, when I went down to Costa Rica, this is what I expected to see. 20 goals. 20 goals. I mean, let's not go crazy. 20 shots. 10 on target. 3.2 XG. We're over XGing it a little bit. Holy... Did I mention I'm good at football manager? I mean, I don't want to take all the credit, but you know, this little team I put together, if we're not competitive in the next round, I'm talking about, we still have three halves to go, but you've blown them away. You've blown them away. Alfred, you know who we're going to play? Steven Jones. Steven Jones is going to come in. We're going to stay positive too. I bet it finishes 8-2. That's what my guess is. I bet they score. We just, we don't close teams out. So maybe I should play a little different system, but I just want to see their players mad and in the red. But I mean, why change it? Like, this is crazy. But yeah, I don't want to go down to 10 men, so... The change is okay. I probably wouldn't have made it if it was like two to one or something that early. Maybe I would have made it late. I don't like to change center backs out, but you know, sometimes you just got to. Sometimes they're playing horrible and you just go ahead and just get rid of them. But yeah, it looks like they're trying to build here a little bit. This is their best attacking move of the game for sure. I wouldn't be surprised if they grab a goal from it. Or a penalty? No. Crossed in. Yeah. Ah, who flaps at it. Well, it's just what you'd expect. It's just what he does. Let's go balanced. I knew we'd give up one. We just, we don't. We don't close out as well as we should. It's a shame. Crossed in. I'd like to grab another one, though. Salazar from distance curls it in. He's, he's on a 10.0. Does he have a hat trick? He does. He does have a hat trick. I mean, I'll just keep praising him, I guess. It's all right. Just be happy about your performance. I know they got a goal through Benitez, but... 6-1, I mean... Yeah, just just call we know what we're doing here they're not pressing us at all Toch looking for the pass can't find it Contreras though should probably switch the wingers out David good ball to Montenegro he likes to take the shot from there off the crossbar if we use up all of our swagger in the first half and don't score another goal across this whole tie it might end up being kind of close. Because occasionally we just don't play defense. Penalty? No. Salazar, though. It's looking for a fourth. All right, we're just going to freshen up the wings. These guys are playing good, but, you know, we got to see the regens. Because these are honestly my favorite, too, if I'm being quite honest. All right, had her back, golf clap, good job, nice, smart play. Yeah, I mean, they're just not pressing us, so that's fine by me. Good ball. Toch breaking through the lines. It's going to have to find a pass here, though. Finds a good one to Contreras. David, not great. Okay, saw the thorn there, right where he needs to be. Toch, back to Toch. It was tipped over by Kalai. 
Okay, saw the thorns a little bit tired. I take him out. Martinez is anxious. Anxious energy is good energy. We'll give him another praise when we can. We'll probably take Salazar out. I don't know. Honestly, David should probably come out. Salazar, get a fourth. Come on. Nah, he's kind of he's kind of snatching at his opportunities. And you know who's a boss right now, actually? Is Ruggiero. He's been getting better and better. But this was a purely sexual result. Please don't give them a goal. Okay. If they come back in this in this tie, after we scored six goals in the first half. Oh, you should have closed up shop. We've created another almost two full XG in this half, and they've only mustered two shots and they scored them both. I can't be disappointed. It's six to two against a Liga MX team that we're not favorites against, but you can see the goalkeeper situation that I'm having to deal with. Honestly, anytime I say at halftime, what a 45 minutes, you've blown them away. You never win the second half. I might never say that again. You feel like it's true, though. You have to. I mean, you've blown them away. Like, just I'm happy. You, though, I mean, you dominated a hat trick. Are you kidding me? Contreras crushing it. Proud of your performance. Hey, have you learned that role yet? Very good job from Neves, always. He's always good. Ah, who? I'm not even going to talk to him. We might play Solis in the second leg. He might be back. Yeah, dominant. Absolutely dominant. So now um, we got a game in between. So we're just going to play that one. I mean, I'll play it and then I'll bring you back for the second leg against Tio Juana. And we are back. Second leg. Can we hang on to our four goal cushion? There is no away goals. Take you through some of the results. Sad days. Sad, sad days. TLH Rangers lost to America three to nothing. Pretty close contest, though. New York City Chivas close, Santos Laguna 2-0, LA Galaxy 1-1 with Monterey. Pumas, the defending champions, beating Sporting Kansas City. I bet most of the Mexican teams get through, except for our tie, except for ours. We got to close it out today. Positive? Really? Uh, we've had a couple injuries, actually. Oh, we won the game in, the, in between, by the way, 2-0. We've got a shutout. Somehow, somehow we got a shutout, two to nothing. But uh, yeah, Montenegro goes down injured for three weeks and Martinez right back goes out for about a week and a half. That's okay. Torres, he's coming, he's, he's doing okay. He's figuring that spot out. He would really like to play up top. Ruggiero, what am I doing? You're not playing. Make sure I got the right team in here. Contreras, Neves, and Toch, David. Of course, Hall's getting a little bit tired because we're playing basically three left backs on the field. And he just never gets rotation because of it. Got the two boys in the center. And we're going to stick with Ahu because Solis hasn't played a game yet. So, played good in the last one. I'm actually nervous. I'm nervous about closing out a four goal advantage. I mean, we can't allow complacency. See, I'm, I'm relaxed with my hands in my pockets. Don't mind the clicking. Okay. Playing this cool Bali guy up top. I played him on the wing last time. Kula Bali. Pretty decent. 
Vargas on the left wing. It's probably a wonder kid. He looks pacey, that's for sure. I forgot to scout their team fully before we did this because we have all of North American scouting with our budget, so I probably I should have done that, but... It's not like I'm going to minutia my tactic around too much. Like, we're just we're just going on form right now. That's the, that's the idea. If we get to play Club America, then we'll minutia the tactic a little bit to try and manufacture a result against them. But if this if it stays this way, I'm happy about it. If they start scoring a goal here, maybe a couple in the first half, then I'm, then I'm nervous. Looks to be all us again, though. My assistant telling me something I'm already aware of, because he says it every single game. It would be beneficial. It would be beneficial if he learned the position so that he's going to play there until he learns it. Hotch on a yellow. He's playing a 6.5. Salazar up top's not doing too good either. We might, just to close out the half here, we might just pull it back a little bit. I'm happy with no highlights for this entire leg. Boom. Toluca's beating Seattle 3-0, if you saw that. Told you the Mexican teams just win in the second leg, especially. Make sure we're still in front on aggregate at the end. Oh, in our home leg, we broke our uh, gate receipt record. It was four hundred and twenty-five thousand. It was four hundred and fifty thousand dollars for that game. It's pretty good. Packed it out. Seventeen, eighteen thousand, I think the stadium is. Here we go. Attacking corner, Fernando Alvarez, his sixth of the year, and we go ahead and grab a goal in TJ. Mm hmm. Give us Club America. We're ready. We're ready. Give them to us. I might take Hall out. We got this closed up, right? 30 minutes, they're not going to score five goals. With our goalkeeper, though, you never know. Building another one here. Torres rips a shot. I like it. I don't mind that at all. He's on a 6.5. Is he complacent as well? Torres. His mentality's a just a skosh iffy sometimes. Work the ball in the box. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, we got some complacency. Look at that bench. Oh, man. That's fine. Quesada Thorne, you're coming over. And this guy, who never gets to play, but he's a team leader, He's been out injured, that's why he hasn't played much, but also I just have, he's the third option in the right back spot, so, I mean, who do I bring in over here? He's just going to have to play through the game. Touch on a yellow, that's not great. Should we bring the youngster in? Okay, Saddle Thorn's uninterested. Make me proud. Just that for now. We'll bring in... Um, the Mongi, the Minge, for Neves here in a little minute. Get him some important game time for the 18-year-old. Yara, too, or Suarez? Mm, for Toch, I guess we'll go Suarez. Nah, we'll play the two youngsters. So they got... Loads of potential. There's plenty of time. Show us what you got. Maybe this is with too much confidence, but I don't think I've ever conceded five goals up five. I don't think I've ever conceded up five goals on aggregate in 20 minutes. Three, maybe. 
Ha who makes the save. Good. Good. We're going to go cautious and we're going to waste time as well. You know, we're not, no instructions, basically no instructions. Just play pure instinct, pure instinct. The instinct is don't let them score five goals. There's one. It's okay. It's fine. Should fire him up, maybe? Got some composed players. I'd like to bring Steven Jones in, though, to be honest. For Alvarez. Oh, this is our last stoppage. Hmm. Should bring Solis, the goalkeeper, in? If he wasn't complacent, I'd consider it. Calderon, the youngster? Hmm. I think Ruggiero. Yeah, for Salazar. Up top, see if he can run around a little bit. I would like to not lose in Tijuana. Come on. I'm going to tell them to focus. They'll hate it. Come on. We're up three on aggregate. Come on. It's in Mexico. I want to capitulate now. Oh, who's on a 6.2? Yeah, he's. this is probably his last game of the season. If Solis doesn't get hurt again. Okay, we closed it out. Seattle kind of came back a little bit, but I think they were down already. Looks like Austin might have beat Santos Laguna, though. Austin FC? All right. We did the job. It's not exactly how you handle a tie, but I'm not happy with you. And you. You guys are okay, but I'm not going to say anything. All right. Oh, Seattle was actually... Oh, they were tied, actually. Oh, and Austin goes out anyways. Yeah, Mexican dominance. It just continues. But we took out one of them. Wasn't their best team. But we get through. We get 250k. We've got a couple league games coming up. And then, yeah, it's just nonstop action. Actually, we got a little break. After our next game. That's good. That's very necessary. Probably schedule one friendly in there. But let's just take a look at the other ties in the next couple days before this game against Santos, or uh, Sporting, rather. And see how the CONCACAF Champions Cup is going to look in the quarterfinals. Which I know, I think I brought it up last time. Why is it called quarter? It's because it's four games. It's such a stupid thing. I swear I've had that conversation with somebody before. LA Galaxy beat Monterey in extra time. That's Surprising. St. Louis City couldn't turn it around against Tigres. Hey, there's Trindadi scoring a goal. Still playing here. He would come here, but I honestly think he's not that great. He would help us. Don't get me wrong. But I don't think he's worth using a foreign slot for. But it is Club America. There's two more games. I think there's two on Thursday. New York City Chivas and Pumas versus Sporting KC. And both finalists from last year have gone out in the round of 16. Pumas and Monterey are both out. Sporting Kansas City and New York City. So a couple little MLS teams doing all right. But... Here it is. It's not technically drawn yet, but Sporting Kansas City versus Toluca, Tigres, LA Galaxy, Santos Laguna, New York City, and us versus America. Let's see if it's drawn. Oh, wait, there's a draw. Um, I don't think there should be. And it, this might just be a formality. Well, actually, we might play somebody else. Hang on. Just you hang on one second. 
Who would we want to play? Not America. Honestly, like any of the MLS teams, probably. Or Toluca. It's going to be us. It isn't. America Santos Laguna. Toluca? Yeah, take it. Toluca. Okay, so we're not going to Estadio Azteca. New York City FC Tigres and LA Galaxy Sporting. So there will be an MLS team in the semifinals. Hopefully, there's a Liga Pro America Costa Rica side in the semifinals. So Toluca, we get the whole match in the second game. Fantastic. Where is Toluca in Mexico? I'm not really sure, to be honest. 31,000-seater stadium. That's who we're playing. Um, I just want to see where they sit. Are they doing badly? Okay, they're in sixth right now. Look, it's like a new winner every single competition. Mexico's wild. All right, the fifth best team. Okay, so I guess they're a little better than Santos, but, but we dodged America, we dodged Pumas. Let's just take a look real quick at MLS because I haven't really looked at this stuff. A couple Cincinnati wins, Charlotte, LAFC, Minnesota United, Nashville, and Seattle. It doesn't mean that's who's best, though. Yeah, LAFC, but in the Champions Cup leftovers, LA Galaxy, who, New York City and Sporting, Kansas City? And Cincinnati 6,000, they're the worst team that they win just a couple of years ago. MLS is something else, too. But anyways, that's the tie. We'll be back for that two-legged quarterfinal. One of four games happening in that competition. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe and comment and all that kind of stuff. I think we're doing pretty good. We lost, technically. I hate to see that red. I hate to see that. But, I mean, you w six goals in the first half. What else can you ask for? Let's try and do it again next time on the North American Journeyman. We'll see you then. Adios.